thank you on behalf of uh, two families, and I have the privilege to be a member of both families. I want to thank you first on behalf of the Byrne family for gathering here for the 29th time, and I want to thank you on behalf of our NYPD family for coming together once again on another cold evening. I want to thank Commissioner O'Neill and Commissioner Bratton for being here, the Deputy Commissioners and the Senior Executive Staff and Chiefs, most of all, all of the cops who are here tonight and all of the retired cops who've come back once again, the community members who are here, the local business leaders, our good Padre, and uh, our colleagues from the fire department. We know that in the early morning hours of February 26, 1988, a brutal and tragic crime took place, an assassination of a young rookie police officer. Eddie was killed here only five days after his 22nd birthday. It was meant by an imprisoned drug, violent drug dealer to be an act of intimidation against the police and the criminal justice system. We now know that it had exactly the opposite effect. The NYPD re responded swiftly and powerfully, not just in solving this horrible crime, but what the NYPD did, what you do today, and what all the people who came before you in the last 29 years did, to make this city so much safer than it was back in 1988 is nothing short of extraordinary and incredible. You've done an amazing job and there could be no greater tribute to Eddie than the drive to fight down crime and prevent the kind of crime that took his life in those early morning hours. So I wanna thank all of you for keeping Eddie's memory alive, for remembering his sacrifice. It was Eddie's lifelong dream to be a police officer to follow in the footsteps of our dad, uh, who was a retired lieutenant. And when you come together each year, you help not only to honor Eddie's sacrifice, but to keep his dream alive. So I wanna thank you all for coming out tonight once again. It's now my privilege and my uh, honor to uh, introduce to all of you our next speaker, the Police Commissioner of the City of New York, the Honorable James P. Neal. To, to Eddie and to his family. And Larry, I'd like to thank you for what you do every day for the New York City Police Department. I'd like you to thank your son Chris for being here too. I'd like to thank uh, your father for being here. I'd like to thank members of the community. I'd also like to thank the fire department for, for being here also. I think after 29 years, the fact that we all still stand here and remember is critical to our mission. I'd also like to thank Commissioner Bratton for being here tonight. Uh, thank you for everything you've done for the city, and uh, thank you for everything, for everything you've done for me personally. I think it's important that we're all still standing here tonight and come back every year to realize what this city was like 29 years ago. It's not New York City in 2017. New York City in 1988 was not, the, not a great place, as everybody knows. You just take a look at what the city's like right now. None of this happens by accident. The fact that homicide shootings, overall crimes down, none of that happens by accident. It happens as a result of the hard work of the men and women of this great police department. Working in conjunction with all of our law enforcement partners and specifically the community. The people of this great police department continue to make great sacrifices. If you look at 2016, we lost Sergeant Paul Tazilo up in the 4-3 on November 4th. He left his, his wife, Lisa, and his two sons. You know, anything that happens in this city, anything that makes this city better, it's because of the men and women standing here right in front of me. You know, there's not too many occupations that you go into where you actually have to raise your right hand and swear an oath that you're gonna protect the people of this great city. And that's what you do. Everybody standing in front of me in blue made a choice at some point in life to do good and to do right. And for that, I thank you. And again, New York in 2017 is because of you, the state of this city. So please stay safe. 
Take care of yourselves, take care of your partners, and take care of your families. And it's truly an honor to be a police commissioner. Thank you very much.